What's up guys, this is Base Brawler, and in this video, it's going to be a announcement slash rant. So, just stick around for the announcement, because I'm going to do that first, so that once I'm done with the announcement, you can click off the video if you don't want to hear the rant, because I know not everyone likes to hear this stuff. And it's not necessarily a rant, it's more like me explaining myself when it comes to the manga, so... Yeah, there's that. So, the announcement, here it is. Um, I'm going to be doing another animation. If you guys want to check out my other one, I'll put it in the description. That's right, I'm going to be doing another animation. I know last time I said I would, but I didn't. I didn't really finish it, but that's because I was kind of rushing it. This time around, I'm not going to rush it. I'm going to take my time with it. Probably going to do a few frames a day, and that's it. And... Sometimes it might not just be like, you know, a super framed thing like, you know, something crazy like you see in Dragon Ball Super. It might just be um, like a still like scene, if that makes sense, or like a pan. Yeah, that's what that's kind of what I'm talking about. Like the screen pans a little bit. That's the sort of animation I'm going to do. All right. So now here's the rant. Yes, you could tell that I'm very eager to do this rant. Okay. So, there's someone on my Discord. I'm not going to name them. Um, you'll probably find out who it is if you look. But don't hate on them or anything. Please don't. Because this isn't between anyone else or anything like that. It's between us. And the reason why I decided to do a video instead of leaving it like um, a private discussion is because I know for a fact that there's more people who feel this way, not just him. And I mean, like, to be fair, this is an older person we're talking about, but they also don't seem to grasp or understand the purpose of my manga. Okay, so, um, I just want to get the criticisms out of the way so that I can go on as to explain the purpose of my manga and so that, like, normally... What I do is I tell you guys, here's the point of what I'm saying, and what you should get from it. So, here's the criticisms that I've been getting lately from this person. The first one I'm going to go over, I'm trying to remember what it was exactly, was that my manga does not have any character development. It's not the first criticism I got from this person, but it's one of them. It's one of the big ones that I realized. And the thing is about this one, is... If we're talking about my manga from Power Level Warrior 1, or in some cases even 2, yeah, you'd be right. Uh, my manga does not have a lot of character development when it comes to those chapters. But recently, I'll give you an example, Rice Set. And this is just one example. Rice is meant to be kind of like the Goku of Power Level Warrior, so he doesn't really have any character development. Usually things revolve around him, like events, things he decides. But... um. The thing about, like, oh yeah, I was going to give you guys an example. Rice said, when she started out in the manga, she was like, you know, she was kind of mean and she was kind of like reserved. She was like, hey, stop being an asshole. I remember what you did to me at that tournament. And now she's really nice. And that's one of the big ones. And who was it? It was because of Rice. Okay. So that's, that's just one example. I know I shouldn't really explain that as the author or whatever, but... That's just one of the many examples. And then even now that she doesn't have rice, she is hurt. She's emotionally in, like, trauma. So she's not really as happy as she was before. And she's getting over it because that's a good thing for humans to do is to get over it. You know, not just, you know, dwell on her, you know, the person that she's in love with. That's character development in case I have to explain even further. That's just one example. There are plenty of other examples that I have in the manga. For example, actually I don't want to spoil anything, so... Uh, most of the development actually haps happens in the recent volume. But, if you're talking about the other chapters, volumes, whatever, you'd be correct. They do not have that much character development, okay? So, that's one criticism. The other criticism is that... Um, I don't take... Now, this one is kind of stupid, considering the recent criticism that this person gave me. The same person, mind you. They say, I don't take my time with the stories, and it's rushed. Okay. Here's the thing about my stories, okay? 
The reason why I quote unquote rush them is because now there's so many characters. I oh I did not even know Bullet was gonna add this Bullet yeah Bullet is gonna add this many characters. And I thought some of them would be villain like. Like some of these characters would be like the henchman, the guardianess. They're kind of villain like. And yeah, there's the royal family too, but uh, they're more like they're all pretty much protagonists in my manga. And that's the thing, is I have to stick with that. Is that I only have so... I Not only so many. I have a lot of characters to work with. Therefore, I have to... Um, only show tidbits of each character in their development. Which is why I have to quote-unquote rush the story. And now I'm going to go over the... Um, <laughs> what's it called? The polar opposite to that. Which is that this this is guys I'm not joking this is the same person that my recent chapter was filler and I don't have any action. What? So okay, so this person tells me you don't you know you don't have enough like or you don't have enough character development. I I do a whole chapter dedicated to character development. You don't have enough action. What the fuck do I do then? <laughs> what the hell am I supposed to do then? Am I supposed to, like, just make these characters, like, go out and fight? Or do I focus on their character development? What am I supposed to do? Okay, what? what? Choose one. Choose one. I, I can't do both. Like, oh, at the same time, anyway. I can't do both. I can do both, but not at the same time. And apparently this person wants me to do it at the same time. That's kind of difficult to do. And he said there was no fight scenes in that chapter, but there's literally a freaking scene where um, Pi blasts away these enemies. And I don't show fights that much anyway, because the thing about fights is I... Uh, I, I... I'm trying to think of the word. I let the game um, display the fights and all of that, because in the game you can actually play as the character and you can experience the fights. That's why I, um, that's why I don't really draw that much when it comes to fights in the manga. I focus more on the story. And, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I want to say about that. And then here's the last criticism, which this one is also correct, is that I, or, yeah, this one's also fine. Like, I don't really see a problem with this one. Is that I have too many references to Dragon Ball Super. And I am fine with this criticism. It makes sense. Like, I see where you're coming from. However, I am going to still defend myself. Because there is something that you don't realize. And I'm going to say it right now. <laughs> Dragon Ball is just a huge reference. What does that mean? Like, wh what does that mean? Dragon Ball is a huge reference. Well, I'm going to tell you. Dragon Ball, the original Dragon Ball, is a reference to Journey to the West. And even though it doesn't have the same characters, the same, you know, uh, names, the same all that, it's still a reference to Journey to the West. It gets their events and ideas and inspiration from Journey to the West. And I'll, I'll, do, I'll use another analogy real quick. Let's say you're doing a test and you have to, or not test, you're doing an essay or a research report. And you have to, you know, you have to get your ideas from somewhere. So, obviously copying and pasting is not allowed. So what do you do? You know, you use reference. You go, okay, I'll use these ideas in my thing, but I won't directly state them as those ideas. And that's what I'm doing in the manga. Now, I think this, per here are a few things that I think this person is saying that I got my references from Super from. I have Hakaishin, and what that means is Gods of Destruction. And the thing is, Dragon Ball Super isn't the only anime with Gods of Destruction. There are plenty of other anime out there, even the one I recently watched, technically, got their Gods of Destruction. And it's not just Dragon Ball Super. Yes, Dragon Ball Super labels their titles as Dr Gods of Destruction. And I never stated in my manga, or not me, but it's never stated in my manga that, you know, Scythe 
Saber, and Trident are gods of destruction. They just call them that because they have the capability of destroying planets. They can do that. Yes, they have power levels of over 10,000, which also has the capability lower... Anything lower than that can destroy a planet. So, yeah. They're technically gods of destruction because they can do that. And they're just called that for, you know, to make them seem more uh, intimidating. And the other reference that I noticed he was talking about is how when they want to get Sickle and King Mad back, they go to hell to ask for revival. But here's the thing. Um, this, it, it went to, it, uh, I cannot speak. It totally went down different from Dragon Ball Super. What I mean is this. In Dragon Ball Super, Goku goes to hell, a special kind of hell, one where there's like magical creatures and fairies and stuff, and Goku goes there and he tells Frieza, hey, you know, we need you to join this tournament, otherwise our universe is going to get destroyed. And Frieza goes, alright, but you have to promise to revive me. Okay, yeah. So, now I'm going to compare and contrast Dragon Ball Super to the Power Level Warrior version. In Dragon Ball Super, Hell is a place with fairies, magical creatures, all that, to Frieza. Because he hates that. In Power Level Warrior, Hell is just a normal prison. It's just a basic prison where you're not allowed to do stuff. And you have supervisors watching you, very powerful ones. Even though um, the henchmen were able to break out. But you have, yeah, you have something like that. It's like an actual prison system. And then instead of Carrot going to some guy telling him, Oh, hey, guess what? Freeze is here. I'll let you revive him for a day. No. He actually consults someone and goes, Hey, I need, you know, I need to revive this person. And, yeah. Uh, actually, that's that's about the same. I, I, there's no sugarcoating it. That's the same. And then the, the last one is, like, the motives behind why they revived Frieza. Goku revived Frieza, or Sickle, whatever. Goku revived Frieza for... Uh, to save his universe. Because if Frieza wouldn't have joined, they wouldn't have had 10 members strong enough to face the opponents. In my manga, they're reviving Frieza to help stop another potentially universal threat. However, it's not really like a tournament where you have to have 10 members. It's more so just that they need the power. Which I guess, in a way, is kind of like super, but whatever. And now that I'm done with the criticisms, or whatever, it's time for me to get to my point. Why am I defending myself? Why am I worrying about this one person criticizing my manga? Well, I'm not going to um, judge every- not judge everyone, what's it called? I'm trying to think of the word, shit. It's barely crossing my mind. I'm trying not to think of, like, generalizing everyone's opinion because of this one person. But I do know that he's not the only one who thinks this way. And so here's the point of this whole video, aside from the announcement that I'm making an animation. The point of this video is to let you guys know that my manga is not in any way, shape, or form... A professional form of media. I'm not getting paid for this. I'm not getting paid to do this. I am not doing this with the intention to be paid to do it. And I'm not doing it because someone is has a knife at my throat telling me you have to do this. Otherwise, you're going to die. You're, you're, I'm going to kill you. Your whole family is going to die. I'm not being blackmailed to do this, basically. I'm doing this just so that people can have a story to reference when they play Dragon... Or, Dragon Ball. <laughs> Sorry about that, Boo. When they play Power Level Warrior. 
Because I know for a fact that when I used to play Power Level Warrior, I thought, hey, this is a fun Dragon Ball inspired game. But I didn't really find it that entertaining until I started making a story in my head, looking at all the characters, the monks, the soldiers, the ninjas, the, um, what's it called? Mirror and all that. And then when I built a story in my head, it became a lot more entertaining to me. And I was able to play it. Even when I play as Mista, I imagine her, like, her voice, her, you know, her personality, and her, like, using her form to kick all these henchmen's ass. <laughs> I said that totally without any grammatical, uh, grammatical things in mind, but whatever. But yeah, the, it just makes the story more fun to me. And I mean, if, you, if you're fine playing this game without a story, that's cool too. I'm just saying that for those who would prefer to have a story, my manga is out there. If you want to have a story to go along with this game. And again, it's not meant to be a professional manga. I'm not trying to make that my living. I'm not going to make a living off of the manga. Okay? But if you want to criticize my manga, go ahead. But... I don't really see what the purpose would be unless I'm doing it professionally. Like, if you wanted to help me out and, like, you know, may have me make money off of this so I could do it for a living, go ahead. Like, give me some... You could be, like, my storyboard or whatever the hell you call it. Like, someone someone who um, revises, edits, whatever, uh, basically supervises my manga. If you want to do that, go ahead. But if it's not the intention for me to make a living off of it, or hell, even you, then I don't see what your purpose of it would be, aside from just discouraging me from making the manga. Because a month ago, I thought, oh, Bullet's adding another story, so I'm just going to stop working on the manga. On Christmas Day, too. I remember, it was on Christmas Day, and I was like, okay, fuck it, I'm not going to do the manga anymore. But because people told me, hey, base, no, you need to continue doing this. And even Bullet himself said, yeah, continue working on the manga. I decided, okay, fine, I'll work on the manga. And at first I was going to do chapter, um, go straight to chapter 13. But I decided to do chapter, the other chapters, because I felt that that would be unfilled. And this person is criticizing me for having filler. But the thing is, this quote-unquote filler, even though it's not filler, to be honest, it's not, is, you know, it's explaining the story more. And this person also complains that the story is not explained enough, and when I explain the story, without focusing too much on the combat, they complain. So, I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do, like, to make you happy. But, yeah, overall, my overall message for this is just... Don't look at my manga as a professional thing. It's not. It's just a fun thing for me to do. And it's a fun story for you guys to enjoy if you'd like to read it. And if you don't like it, that's cool too. Um, like, I, I, I'm even fine with someone else making a manga that's better than mine. Because then there's multiple stories and there's multiple things, multiple like ways to view it. Because Bullet's way of viewing it is that Rai, Strike, Set, and Rosato are siblings. And my way of viewing it is that Rai and Rai Set are in a relationship, and Rosato is in his own universe. But, that's beside the point. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope whoever criticized me understands more where I'm coming from and why I do what I do in the manga. It's not a professional thing, it's just for fun. And I don't want anyone to get the wrong idea thinking this person's hating on me. Um, they're not. They're just, you know, uh, they're, they just think, I guess, that this is meant to be a professional thing, and it's not. I just love doing it because I got nothing better to do. And I mean, I even sacrificed my own personal health, which I know this isn't a good thing, but I sacrificed my personal health, such as I used to run. I used to love running. Still do, but I don't do it a lot. Because I want to focus more on this damn story. So. And I guess while I do run. I could think of the story. But. Um. I might trip or something. I don't want that to happen. No I'm joking. I'm making excuses. I might do a run today actually. But anyway. I want to thank you all for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um. Do I have my last words? No that's pretty much it. I'm also going to do a review of a Dragon Ball figure I got. Um. Later on today. 
And I will see you guys in the next video whenever that may be. Goodbye.